Good morning, everybody. My name is Gercules, and welcome back to a brand new video on the Hardcore Survival World. Hopefully you guys are having a good day. Before we start today's episode, I want to announce a couple things. One, we are on 1.17.1, which is really, really cool. And also, I have installed Optifine. That is right, guys. I have finally gotten Optifine, so everything should be looking more crisp and smoother. Today, guys, we are going to be doing some exploring. I have, I have emptied out my inventory as best as I could, and we are heading out to the ocean. And the reason we're heading out to the ocean is because you can find great stuff there. Mainly shipwrecks and chests, but you can also find other stuff like ruined ports. Oh, I got a bit of a lag spike. So yeah, right down here is where we need to go. Off to the ocean. So, you may be wondering, what are we hoping to find in the ocean? Pretty much anything and everything, really. Anything that could be of benefit. Any cool biomes we could find. There is dripstone right there. I actually want to... Hmm. You know what? We'll go back for that later. We'll go back to the dripstone later. I hope you guys are enjoying this hardcore series. Guys, I'm actually having fun with this, unlike my normal survival world. Because in, like, hardcore, you, if you get more stuff completed, like, it's more satisfying when you complete something. Am I the only one that thinks that? I don't think so. Oh my goodness. Oh, yes! What? These bonds are so rare! Oh my goodness, guys. We have ourselves a mushroom island. Holy cow. Oh, there's a swamp over there. And a shipwreck. And it looks to be like a full shipwreck. One that has all three chests. And a coral reef! Oh my goodness. Yes, and a witch hut. Oh! That is a good spot for a witch hut, right next to an ocean? Oh my goodness. Guys, this mesa seed... I swear, when I tried to look up for a seed that had mesa, I was only looking for a mesa biome, but... The other biomes around... Oh ho! There's some... There's something else, aren't they? And yeah, I will be picking up the chests so that I don't have to make them. Now, one thing that would be really cool is if the supply chest right here had moss in it. If it has moss, then we're set. Or bamboo. Bamboo would also be really cool. Big money, big money, big money. Moss! Oh! Uh, ooh, decent leather armor. Okay. Let's see what we have. Blast protection for thorns. Protection 4 and Blast Protection 4. Okay. Oh! Don't drown. Dude, this seed is amazing. Mushroom biome, witch hut for a potential witch farm. I've never built a witch farm ever. But my... My god. This is so cool. The only thing I'm concerned about is if a drown is wielding a trident. Because if... We come across a drown that is, then we gotta... Oh my gosh, you just dropped a copper ingot! Oh, oh, oh. and that is one of the changes to uh, 1.17.1, is that drown drop copper more often. You know what? I have an idea. What if we snatched the boat, uh, the door, from the shipwreck and used that as an air bubble? I think that's a really cool idea. Can't believe there's a coral reef as well. My gosh. That's so cool. Alright, so far this episode has been a banger. And luckily that ocean ruin has a sea lantern to provide us light while we search for the chest. And remember, we have a buried treasure map so that... So we can find that too. Like, mushroom islands are like so rare to find though, man. 
That's nuts. Okay, uh, let's place that right here. All right, we need to dig for this buried treasure. Oh. Oh, there. Oh, voila. There we go. Okay. All right, the question is, is it the same? Are these two the same? They are. Okay. Well, we can shut that one there. And it looks like it is very close by. All right, you know what? I'm going to put that in my offhand. All right, so we need so we need to head east. Okay. So this way. Okay, we still need to be careful. Remember, this is hardcore. Things could go south very quickly. Man, this is such a good spot for a witch farm. Because hostile mobs don't spawn on Mushroom Island, and if we get the surrounding land and lit up the mainland here, then we're going to have our... and the caves underneath, of course. And we're going to have, like, a really good working witch farm. Okay, we're going to have to uh, go around. Oh, look at that! The coral reef extends! Oh! Oh, whoops, I passed it. Ooh, slime is spawning. Okay. Interesting. All right, I want to lure the slime out this way. Okay. This is a good spot. Nice. Okay. All right, and then the babies can't hurt me. <laughs> oh, look at these guys. <laughs> oh, look at these fellas. Aw. Alright, well... Uh, oh my gosh. Okay. Is there any more? Alright, I'll take six. I guess the buried treasure can wait. Let's see what else we can find in the deep depths of the seven seas. Wait, is that... It is! Guys, I don't know if you can see it. That dark blob right there. Oh, there's no mobs in here. Yes! We have a geode! Ooh, fully blooming crystal. Yay, we can make a spyglass. Alright, we found a geode. Very, very cool. Um, I'm not going to mine any of the blocks, but I will take the shards. We can make a spyglass back at base. Very, very cool. There's more ocean ruins, but at night time, I tend to stay away from them, if at all possible. Alright guys, I'm going to go off camera now and see if we can find any cool stuff lurking in the dark depths of the sea. Okay, well, I didn't find anything under the ocean, but I did find a desert village. I think I'll head back there when it's daytime because I don't want the zombies to break down doors because they can in hard mode. Yeah, it looks like this entire region and this ocean is desert, which I'm totally fine with. Desert temples can hold very useful stuff. Good source of sand. Oh my, another mesa. <laughs> Okay, wasn't expecting to find that. Ooh, there is a ocean ruin stick. Wait. <gasps> what? Okay. Um. Not only did I found a drown that had a trident, it's enchanted. Okay, I'm staying away from him. <laughs> no way am I going anywhere near him. Oh my gosh. Imagine if I got his trident. wonder what enchantment it would have. Ooh! Hello! Give me your shell. Yes! We got a shell. Oh my gosh. Whoa! Okay. Looks like one of them has a fishing rod as well. Alright, we could stay in here. <laughs> That's a nice air bubble. A shovel. Oh, whoops! I updated that. Okay. Aha! It's a chest. What does it have? Looting too. Hey, that's not too bad. All right, now time to go back to that buried treasure, shall we? Oh, hey. 
A shipwreck. Awesome. Supply chest. Big money. Ah, oh, no moss blocks. Dang it. Uh. And everything else I can leave. Okay. Ah, oh, that would have been so pog. We've been big poggers right there. If I had gotten some moss. This seed just keeps getting better and better. There's like no boring stuff about this seed. Like I said, I was just looking for a seed which had a mesa biome because I wanted to do a Wild West theme, which is something I have never done in this series. But now, now I just realized this world got a whole lot bigger. Did I loot that shipwreck? I don't think I've looted that shipwreck. Okay. Well, another chance for moss, guys. What do you think, huh? Could we get some more moss? Find out when we get there. <gasps> yes! Boom! Let's go! Yes! Just one block alone is enough to create an empire. Oh my goodness. Guys, our objective is complete. <laughs> Everything else we get is just extra. Oh, look at that, a diamond. Yes, um, hang on one sec. Um, hang on, I can just place down the door, but I need to get a bit of air first. <gasps> oh my gosh! Oh, 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 oh. Okay, um, you don't really need that. The uh, higher tier enchants, I will keep. Okay, another buried treasure map. It's going to be the same, isn't it? It's a different one. Okay, hey, I don't mind that. But yeah, the lower tier enchants, I can just throw away. The higher tier, I can just disenchant and get a ton of levels that way. Right, but man... But nothing beats having some moss blocks in your possession. Nothing. Right? So now it is time. Oh, another shipwreck. Another shipwreck. Okay, here we go. Right? It's somewhere on land. Alright, so a good tip is to just go like this go directly in the center so it's like right around here oh boom perfect and three diamonds guys oh yeah iron Ooh, more food I'll always take more food heck yeah gold and what can we replace for the heart of the sea um, I don't think we really need feathers we are going to be rich by the end of this. Alright, what cool stuff is in here? More moss blocks! Hey! Ooh, a piece of TNT. Alright, there's a... Okay, there's a chest right here. This should be the map chest. Oh no, these two are the same! No! Oh man, which means this one is most likely going to be the same. And it is. Okay. Ah oh, man. Okay, well, we did find a, a unique one, but the other three are they were the same. Okay, well, I'm going to take the piece of TNT instead. Oh my gosh. This is absolutely great. Okay. Don't drown! Ooh, okay. Alright, I think we should head back to base and uh, organize what we found. Guys, I think I've only been recording for like less than a half hour, and already we found majestic stuff. I would go ahead and grab the coral, but you need silk touch for it, so there's really no point. Oh, whoa, wait, hold on. Finding stuff on our way back, though. Ruined portal. Could hold some good stuff. All right, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Air bubble. Hey, okay, um, I would take, oh, what do I leave behind? Eh, do I, mm, yeah, I don't really need suspicious to, I will take a piece of gold armor for when we go to the nether. Uh, flint steel, oh, 
You know what? We can always come back for this stuff later. Yeah, we'll take a flint and steel. I was hoping I could find, like, a gold pickaxe with silk touch. Like, that would be absolutely amazing. But, yeah. I will take a... I will take the gold block. Certainly not going to pass that. Not too bad. If I do say so myself. Definitely not too bad, man. Three diamonds, iron nuggets, gold to barter with piglins. I feel like this video could not get any better than today. Anyways, while we are heading back to our residential home on top of the Mesa Plateau, I want to ask you guys, I want to ask you guys, are you enjoying this so far? If so, then comment below so that way I know, and also leave a like, because I put a lot of effort in these videos, as you probably know. But yeah, I think I'm going to wait for daytime to roll around. Guys, better safe than sorry. We will, however, explore this way, and already I can see a shipwreck. Right there. Hey, we could- wait. Oh, I don't think that's a geode. Yeah, I excited there for a sec. Yeah, this is the second night. If I don't sleep for like the next two nights, I think phantoms are gonna spawn. Let me guess, more moss blocks. Okay, not this time. We'll take that and then we'll take that. If we could find a geode closer to spawn, that would be ideal. Sometime we're gonna have to explore that other mesa for surface mine shafts and uh, those minecart chests uh speaking of which guys i'm actually going to be removing the cave spider spawners because i think it's it's going to be very dangerous trying to handle those and i think just breaking the spawner is the best way to go i i just think like that is like the better approach to them because trying to make a farm out of that is going to be very difficult. Getting poison a whole bunch. So I think I'm just going to break them. Unless we can make a much better mob farm like up in the sky. And with the, and with like stuff you could build higher than Y256, we could even make a, a better mob farm than once in the past, right? Once 1.18 comes around. I mean, the experimental snapshots are coming out, but there's no way I'm going to I'm going to make a series on that anytime soon because they're really laggy and yeah, there's no way I can deal with them. Anyways, where's the moon? Is it setting? Okay, it is setting. Okay, so we just have to wait a couple more minutes. I'll see you guys when it's daytime. Hang on, guys. There's an axolotl down there. I want to get it. Come on. Come on. Axolotl. Crap. This is all flowing water. No. Okay. Come on. I'm going to get you. Come here. Yes! We got it. We got him, guys. Let's go. Got an axolotl. A. The cutest predator. Speaking of which, guys, what? There's a lot of advancements now, like in 1.17. Like, get in a boat and float with a goat. I think that's a quote from uh, Green Eggs and Ham by Dr. Seuss. <laughs> and, and then we have uh, uh, Wax On and wax off which is a reference to karate kid i have seen the first karate kid by the way fishy business tactical fishing the healing power of friendship team up with an axolotl and win a fight maybe i should bring maybe i should bring him to help me take down that drown with the enchanted trident which is absolutely bananas guys in all my time just just for a bit of clarification, guys, never in my entire life of playing Minecraft have I seen a drown holding an enchanted trident. 
If we manage to get that, that would be crazy. If we put looting two and get a trident, then we're pretty much set. Like, once you have a trident, like, you're all good. Glad we got an axolotl. Came like I said, we came away with a bunch of goodies. Hey, we got Heart of the Sea and a Nautilus shell. So if we get seven more shells, we can make a conduit. All right, the bow, I'm just going to leave there. My inventory is too full. And to be quite frank, I can't spend the time to throw anything away. I, this stuff is is just too good, man. Really, it is. Oh, there's another, another ocean ruined tower sticking out of the water. We're going to have a lot of places to go to when it comes to... Uh, for our quest to finding a trident. Okay, need to be, need to be careful. And yep, I see the little smoke from the campfire. So we are back home. Hey! So happy we got to come back alive, thank goodness, with a bunch of ridiculous goodies. Got moss blocks, and we're gonna get a lot more stuff from that by bone mealing it. All right, 12 iron, 40 iron nuggets. We can convert some into iron ingots. There we go. And yeah, I'll sort the rest of this off camera, but but this might be a shorter video than usual. But you know what? I think it is well worth it. We got, quite frankly ridiculous good stuff man slime balls for like leads or sticky pistons uh knowledge shell heart of the sea emerald slapis all that good stuff so i'm gonna wrap it up here hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video if you did please do drop a like rating consider subscribing so you don't miss out on future videos have a fantastic rest of your day and i'll see you all in the next video see you guys later